to deliver the farewell address for the class of 2007. I'm happy to introduce Tyler Ross. Good morning, friends, family, teachers, and men of the map. I, as the class president of the class of 2007, have been given the esteemed task of closing this ceremony with some brief comments so that the exit doors will remain closed for just a few minutes more. We are almost finished, I promise. I would like all of you to look at this great mess at the center of this holy place. These 204 young men who we are celebrating today. The group consists of brothers, sons, nephews, grandsons, close friends, and the wife. Each one of these young men has many relationships such as these, and each title carries with it certain responsibility. However, these young men share a common relationship that is not visible to the average person. As you look at these gentlemen, you notice that we come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. But make no mistake, no matter our differences, we young men are in fact brothers. But we don't look like brothers, you may say. There is no way that some of us could possibly be related to the other. On this point, I'm afraid you are mistaken. What makes us brothers? Each one of us has at one time or another sat through a Mr. Machesky reenactment of some important historical event or witnessed the amazing Mr. Krabs look and hook shot. We have all listened perplexed as to just how Father Damien gets his voice so darn deep. We have all tried to see just what some of Mr. T's stories actually had to do with American government. And we have all at one point in our lives been utterly terrified of Mr. Reeves. Many of us have learned valuable life lessons from Mrs. Yerish, such as to remember to take out our eyes, and that all you need in life is a slope and a point. We have all messed with Mr. Burke after the Red Sox destroyed the Yankees. And we have all rolled our eyes as Mr. Gardner nicely reminded us to tuck in our shirt tails. These comical, common experiences that we have all shared have drawn all of us together. However, the math prides itself on the rigor and difficulty of all of its programs, be they academic, athletic, musical, artistic, or service oriented. And the hard times that we have experienced as a class has created this unique DeMatha Brotherhood. Whether through group projects, tough practices, or late night study sessions, we have indeed bonded. As General Michael W. Hagen, former Commandant of the United States Marine Corps, once stated, it is through the utmost difficulty, despair, and determination that men transcend their friendly relationships and become brothers. When you think about it, it makes sense that we refer to ourselves as brothers. We have shared many common experiences, have all gone through freshman orientation together, experienced the challenges of our academic expectations, and have all taken the same steps toward graduating, pinnacle of high school achievement. We all have gone through similar changes through the years, have all gone to athletic events together, and yes, may have even lost our tempers with each other. Are not many of these simply the qualities of brotherhood? And we have gone through this transformation together. This change brought on by the dedication of amazing teachers, endless tests, and even more endless hours of memory. By hours of practice, glorious victory, and the occasional, though extremely rare, we have encountered all that life has to offer to teenage men and have endured these challenges together. <clears throat> With this in mind, ladies and gentlemen, as you continue to look at these young men here today, please realize that they are not simply here to take one step closer to the rest of their future. They are not merely graduating from high school. They are here to say goodbye to their brothers, many of them for the last time. We have, all of us, reached a point in our lives 
where our common path at Demac will split into 204 separate paths. Some will go on to attend public colleges, others private. Some will stay on the East Coast, others will travel West. We will study everything from economics to electrical engineering. We will make new friends, enjoy new surroundings, and leave our beloved high school behind. However, our brotherhood will never diminish. No matter where we go in life, we are forever men of this great place. The place where we transform in four years from nervous boys to confident men. Dematha is a difficult place to leave, and the people who comprise the Dematha family are still harder to leave. But it is time, brothers, to step out of our beloved home, our school, and to experience all that life has to offer us. There's not a doubt that we will all succeed in anything that we attempt, and that we will meet adversity head on and overcome it. We are, after all, Dematha gentlemen and scholars. We have already that we learned that we can meet and conquer any text during our time here. But there comes a time in every man's life when he must go forward and leave behind the joys of his past. However, though we are going our own ways, none of us will ever truly be left behind. We will live on in each other's memories, the result of spending the last four years of our lives in each other's company. We will never truly be far away from them. And so at last, the time has come to take on the next challenge in our path. Let us go forward and accomplish all that we desire. Let us succeed in life and let us make the world a better place because of us. But most of all, let us never forget what God is here. People such as parents, teachers, and our leader, Dr. Daniel McMahon, whose initials, by the way, are DM. And most importantly, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. All of whom gave us the courage to adapt to our new surroundings and overcome our obstacles. Let us never forget our beloved school, Dematha, and all that we have learned and experienced within its walls. And my friends and my brothers, let us never forget each other. We will always be family, no matter where life takes us. So, without further ado, it is with the utmost joy that I congratulate the Dematha Catholic High School Class of 2007 on their graduation. But it is with a heavy heart that I say goodbye to my friends, my classmates, and above all, my brothers. May God bless the class of 2007, and good luck to us all. We've done it.